A new rocket-powered combat drone can obliterate its target in mere seconds. This particular variant can be fully reusable if there is no need to destroy the target, yet it can follow and intercept with a high level of automation. Titled the Roadrunner, it also comes in a twin turbojet engine modular payload configuration. This emergence highlights a new evolution to combat drones, but it also raises the question of who really is controlling the machine. There have been several technologies incorporated in the Roadrunner, and the idea of a kinetic-based interceptor has been pursued for some time. Lockheed Martin experimented with the MKV in 2008, and this was intended to destroy multiple ballistic missile threats. It was basically a carrier system which would direct and carry several smaller modules. The vehicle was powered by reaction thrusters and navigation control, providing telemetry to a ground station. One could consider the vehicle to be a automated drone, yet the program abruptly ended in 2009. Ironically, this was around the same time that we started to see more releases of consumer-based drones. And several companies have taken this a step further and released turbine variants. Now, this type of propulsion is not superior in every way because the response time to a turbine versus a electric motor is considerably less. But in terms of payload capacity, range, and speed, turbines easily outmatch the electric motor. The Jet Quad provided some intriguing capabilities which kind of paved the road for turbine-based drones. It can reach over 60 miles at over 250 miles per hour. And with thrust vectoring and controlled algorithms, the Jet Quad can fly to key points. The only downside is, is that it had limited control at lower speeds, and the price tag was quite steep at $80,000 so it's not exactly your typical consumer-grade drone. The cost issue may be solved in the future, as we are starting to see additive manufacturing innovations. Velo 3D is experimenting with AM microturbines, which consolidate several parts into one single unit. But this hasn't been employed in the field just yet, and there is still a lot of question on whether or not this will hold up for a long period of time. However, we are definitely living in very interesting times, and there may be something even different from a conventional turbine or a propeller-driven system. Duxian has an electric jet design which attaches the blades directly to the rim. The RDF provides a boost in thrust, but it also enhances torque and cooling efficiency. Like other critics out there, I just thought it was another ducted fan, until the company started to release some of the specifications on this design. The first prototypes will be nearly equivalent to a 10,000 pound thrust jet engine, but this also means that there would be more controllability and rotation. Obviously this is all hinged on advancement in battery energy densities, so it probably won't displace the jet engine for larger applications. But I found this development really interesting because it may be able to be scaled down for drones and become a feasible propulsion system. The ability to have a launching transformative capability is really important to the Roadrunner, and we have seen this technology be employed in other drones before. The Squid is a unique prototype because it can be deployed from a pressurized tube. With a moving vehicle, it demonstrated autonomous transition from passive to active stabilization. The Wasp is another transformative drone which can also be used in a portable rocket launcher. The advantage is that there's very fast response so they can be included in emergency to interception. But what makes the Roadrunner a step up from these previous predecessors is that it takes the launch system out of the equation by utilizing turbines or rockets. Another side note to keep in mind is that Andril is an established military drone developer, and their most infamous platform is the Ghost X. Technology included vision-based navigation and automated frequency switching. The Lattice is also another project developed to filter data to the end user. Ultimately, the Roadrunner does indeed incorporate some of these predecessor technologies, but there are a lot of questions about how the rocket variant would actually be used. There is the claim that the variant can return to home if it does not obliterate itself in the mission, but there are a lot of questions about flight time and its actual speed. So the Roadrunner is probably one of the most unique drones because there was a rocket variant and the turbine-based variant. The latter is probably more intriguing to me because it was a big step up from previous turbine-based drones and it showed us that these can have extreme speed capabilities. Another thing to keep in mind too is that we're starting to see the emergence of morphing capabilities in drones. And the Dragon drone was definitely the most extreme example of this, but if one can only imagine with a more sophisticated propulsion system, 
then this type of drone could be very game changing as well. We'll definitely have to draw a line between consumer and military grade drones. But other than that, I would like to know what you think about all this. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.